everyone. I'm Leander. Um, I'm from a ministry called Our Father's Home in Bloemfontein. I just want to quickly tell you what happened today. We, we went out distributing food for the homeless people or um, as we all know, it's a, it's a tough time. So it's a challenging time. So there's a need out there. And as we go and distribute the packages of food to people, we minister the word of God, the good news of Jesus Christ to them. So this, in this one occasion, um, we went we went giving around in at houses and God just led them out to go at the house number 11. And in the street that we were, it was very high numbers, like uh, 50 to 80 to 90. There was no low lower numbers, um, house numbers. So we turned around and as we went just like 10 meters down the street, there this number 11 house was. And as we stopped there, um, as I wanted to go to the house, a man approached me from, from inside the yard. And this guy was, I could see it, there was some, like, he was a bit freaked out of me coming towards him. And um, so it was like a God ordained moment. And then he invited me into his home. Now, as we went in, it was like, a, it opened up for us to minister to people. Because in that yard, there was like more than, I'd, I'd say, four houses. And we could distribute food and share the gospel with them. But especially this one man, um, he invited me into his home and I started, you know, just sharing the gospel with him and um, to a point where he gave his life to Christ. But not only that, after he gave his life to Christ, which is probably the, the biggest miracle that can happen. But after that, I started praying for him and I could really sense that God wants to touch this guy. And as I started praying, uh, demons manifested in him. And he started like limping around and one, wanting to fall out to catch him at one time because um, he was possessed of demons. And when the light comes, darkness must leave. And that's exactly what happened in that moment. Prayed for this guy and he started manifesting and making sounds and twitching and freaking out like this. And this guy actually um, retaliated against me because something is happening to him. He does not understand it. The world does not understand that when Jesus comes, he makes everything new. And when you live a life of where, where everything is um, as you know it in, in, in a dark sense and light comes, you will be freaked out because it's, it's a conversion, you know, it's, it's different. Um, so I started praying for this guy and he started manifesting. And then he's like, he, f he called his wife and he, he told his wife to take me out of the room because he's not feeling like he's feeling something's happening. And then I'm like, then I just testified about what's happening, that it's Jesus coming into your life. And when Jesus comes, change begins. And this guy, when his wife came, he left the room. And then he, his wife came into the room and I could share the gospel with her. She ended up giving her life to Christ. And it was just such a beautiful moment with both of, with this couple. And God really touched them. And after she gave her life to Christ, I prayed for her. And um, she, like God just loved on her in that moment. And then I had to go back to that other guy, this, 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 this same guy. And when I went out, because I know God wants to still release him of what's um, been captivating his life for a period of time. And when I, when I went to him, he was busy doing something. But you know, when someone does something just to um, get rid of, the, of what just happened, um, this guy's just, he's not even fixing something, but he's doing something. And I'm like, hey man, what are you doing? And he says, and he says nothing, but he, he's crying all the way, all the way. He's crying because he, he had such an encounter with Jesus. Now, the world, everyone believes in Jesus. Né? The devil believes in Jesus as well. But when, when you have an encounter like this man had, you will start living for Jesus. And that's where the change is. And um, I'm, 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 I asked this guy, like, what he's doing. And, and he's just freaking out. He's like, what happened right now? He hasn't experienced anything like this. And... Then he went back to his wife and both of them went into the room. And when he was in the room, I went to him and I'm like, are you okay? And he said, I've never in my life experienced something like this. He's a drug addict. He even sells drugs to youngsters. And he regrets that so much. And he told me while he's sitting on a bed with his hands and he said, he's like, he even swear tuk, which is a drug. He's like, tuk so, you know, because what he just felt when God came into his life, when God had a tangible experience with him, it changed his whole mindset about everything. And he sweared drugs. He came and he cursed drugs. Now, when Jesus touches you, it's, it's more real than anything that will ever touch you.
it's 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 so incredible. In twenty sixteen, God God touched me, and since then I will never turn back, because um, as I said, it's from darkness into light. You know, it's it's a difference that you know. And God touched this guy so much, and while he's in the bed crying, while his wife is wiping off the tears. Now, just imagine what precious moment that was. God touched that man completely, took him from the the kingdom of darkness. You know, which is ruled by the devil and the, the God of this world into the kingdom of light with Jesus Christ. Now, that's one of the things that happened. We went to the, uh, another home and uh, I went into the, in, into the uh, apartment and it was uh, um, a son and a mom. And I just shared the gospel with them. They believed in Jesus and, you know, I just shared God's heart that he has for them. That is to prosper them not to, and not to harden to give them a hope and a future because that is hard. That is God's heart in this time for the nations. You know, the devil comes to kill, to steal and destroy, but God comes to give life and life in abundance. Now, if your life does not add up with life and life in abundance, know that it's the adversary that's, that's coming against you. Now, I went to these people and I'm like, I'm giving in the, the gospel and they believe in Jesus and so forth. And, and I'm like, is there someone else in, in the house? And they told me no. And I could really f like feel my heart that this, still someone that's in the house that I need to speak to. And then after I, I prayed for them and blessed them, um, I started speaking about the healing, the, the, uh, the gift of healing, that God wants to heal you physically as well. And when I opened, when I just said that, they're like, let me go get my husband. So there was another person, a third person in the house, but he was so sick that they could, they, they only mentioned that it's only them two. So I went to this, to this, um, Sir, so, and he was sitting on a chair, probably distant. I thought he had AIDS or something. It was he was in such a bad condition. Now seven years um, before he had cancer, um, but he was healed from cancer. But since since that time, he's not been set free from pain at all. And I remember he showed me like a, a scar on his on his body, a big scar, and he's in such pain he can't move. I, uh, I realized that this 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 sir can't move. He can't move his move his limbs and things like this. And I'm like, Jesus is gonna heal you because when you see the power of God, you know, one Corinthians four says that the, the the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. And if you understand that that God wants to act on your behalf, then you will. Uh, it's a kingdom that you receive, and it's a kingdom to give. So we just give the kingdom to people. And I gave the kingdom of God to these people, the kingdom of light. And I just started praying for him, laid my hands. And as I laid my hands, it's like I, I connect with, it, with, with God saying, God, I'm not laying my hands on this person. You are. You are laying your hands. And as I laid my hands, the pain just went, this, this uncle. It just left his body. And they like, you were sent by God. You know, it was a God-ordained moment. And even after that, I, I started realizing that he's, he's pulling up his sleeves. The same uncle. He's pulling up his sleeves and moving his arms around. And I was like, what? What's going on now? Um, you know, after I prayed for him, the pain was gone. But then he went like, he started like moving his, his limbs and his feet. I remember he picked, he even picked up his, his legs like this, like something happened that couldn't happen before. And I asked him, so what's, what's happening now? He said he could feel the, the blood in his veins moving, coming to life, restoring. Um, so that's, the, the kingdom of God. That's the, the, the kingdom that we receive and the kingdom that we get to give to others. Um, so yeah, it was a precious day, giving out food, blessing people, praying for people. People came to the kingdom. They got saved and delivered and set free. Um, so it was, it was really such an incredible day. Um, so yeah, I bless you with that and know that God wants to touch you. God wants to heal you and restore your life. Amen.